Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my hearty greetings to you all in the blower name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today, the text we have chosen for our meditation is Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the God of loving kindness has commanded you this important commandment. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Dear brothers and sisters, how many of you are fulfilling this commandment? How many of you promoting this wonderful loving-kindness commandment in your practical life? Tell me, my sisters and brothers, I ask you this question to you today. How many of you keeping this commandment and you are practically fulfilling this commandment? I ask you this question. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Gospel book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Dear brothers and sisters, in those years, Christian missionaries went all over the world to and egg kindness commandment by their practical life. So many Christian missionaries came to India to proclaim the love of God, execute the love of God and the commandment of God. Even though the Christian missionaries were very rich in their country, in their own country, even though they are highly educated, gold medalist, they came to India. They went to village to village by they and executed this loving kindness commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. Dear brothers and sisters, those Christian missionaries suffering like food in proper time, no water, the temperature is very, very, very high. But still, they went to village to village and helped the poor people, showing God's love by giving food, clothes and medical treatment. There's so many village, rural, tribal, clinic to help the people, to help the dying people by different, different new diseases. Dear brothers and sisters, not only with they have started school and they taught the English language. As the English language is the international language, they know if our people learn this English language, in future they can go all over the world and they can come up in their life. By this great language, so many people are number one in the department in other countries. Dear beloved brothers, I ask you one question again. In what way you are performing and executing the love of God and the commandment of love? Are you still thinking in what way I have to do these things? No. You have to start today itself. You have to start loving other humankind in the name of our Lord. So many Christian missionaries, for the sake of our, we can see with our own eyes. Our mother Teresa came from other country to our India, settled in Calcutta, and she helped lakhs and lakhs of people. She touched and washed the hands of the lepers. She gave them food, shelter, cloth, treatment. My dear brothers and sisters, what you are doing now, just like 
Ida Scudder, Dr. Ida Scudder also started one small clinic at Vellore 120 years back. In those years, pregnant ladies were dying in their first pregnancy. About 60% of the total population pregnant ladies were died in their first pregnancy because there was no medicine, there was no doctor, there was no nurses, there was no hospital. Ida Skada started 120 years back at Vellur CMC Hospital. Dr. John Scudder also started small clinic on, at that time, in those years, at Ranipet. Did they came to India to earn money, Mother Teresa or Ida Skadar or other Christian missionaries came here to earn money? No. They want to proclaim the love of Lord Jesus Christ, not religion, not religion, only the love of Lord Jesus Christ to perform in their practical life, to execute the commandment of Holy God, loving God, omnipotent God, they came and suffered and sacrificed. My dear brothers and sisters, they started school, they gave knowledge to the people. My dear brothers and sisters, you just think about this loving-kindness commandment, are you performing this commandment in your personal life? I ask you again and again the same question, my dear brothers and sisters. When I was seventeen years old, I committed my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted Him as my personal Saviour, and I decided to sacrifice my life for His ministry. I came to Chennai. I studied in a Bible college and became pastor. Then after I went to every village, every country to proclaim the commandment of God, what are all the humankind I helped. I wanted to make my son as a medical missionary, so I sent him other countries and he became doctor. Now he is working as the assistant director of the Bellevue Hospital, Manhattan, New York, United States of America. He is doing a wonderful job there. He is helping the people. A few weeks back, Dr. Joshua, my son, asked me, Appa, may I come and see you all in India and I will come back. I said, No, no, Joshua, you have to stay there and you have to save the life of the dying humankind. He has blessed you, He has given you education, He made you medical doctor, He has a purpose for our Lord Jesus Christ, gave His life to save others' life. He sacrificed Himself for others' life. Just You have to stay there, you have to help the dying patients, especially this critical and crucial season. The Almighty God will be with you, He will be with you, and He has promised a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near to you. You will only look with your eyes and see. I told you, the Almighty God is with you, His presence is always with you, so you don't worry, we are all praying for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you save the people, dying people, where you, you are. The presence of God and the power of God will be with you. Now, very joy, peace, he is helping thousands and thousands of dying patients, dying people, along with his other doctors. My dear brothers and sisters, 
now again i ask you what is your part of performing god's commandment now what are all i can do i did for the human kind with my family i have life satisfaction i can say i have life satisfaction what are all i can do i did for our human kind now i ask you one thing i ask you one question what you have done for our lord jesus christ he has done all, all the blessings he has given to you all the blessings from your childhood up to today what you have done for our lord jesus christ did you manifested your love in the name of lord jesus christ to other human kind decide today it's and spread the love of god perform it in your practical life and help the people help the poor people help the sick people god will bless you and you let us have word of prayer our gracious and heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful commandment wonderful commandment of love lord help us to perform loving kindness commandment in our practical life bless the people those who are all listening this message bless them more and more bless their family more and more guide them protect them and help them make them to show their real love upon the other human kind bless them and may your presence and may heavenly blessing be in their house now and forever i ask all these things in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ our lord dear brothers and sisters in christ if you want to contact me or if you need any prayer help kindly contact me at any time through my telephone and email my telephone number is double nine six two zero eight zero two one four another number nine eight double one seven nine four zero zero four my email id is rao jaya singh at yahoo dot com r e v j a y a s i n g h at yahoo dot com may god bless you all